Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Gonna break down this awesome Pearl Jam song for you guys right now. Also, just to let you know, Marty Music's my thing and I really appreciate you supporting it. I've got a link in the first comments that can take you to the site where there's a bunch of free courses that can help you. And I appreciate that, let's break it down. This is all very Hendrixy, y uh, so let's start with the basic bar chords and then we're gonna learn how to embellish it around those basic bar chords. So we have an E major bar chord here where I have a bar across the seventh fret and then on the ninth fret, D, G, and B, the open E is gonna be in there. Then we're gonna do a B major and the bar chord, which we're not gonna play, but we wanna visualize it right here. Seventh fret barred, E major looking shape. And then down a whole step to A major. And then back to E. Okay, so now, once you know that, it's a little easier, I think, to understand the embellishment. So we're gonna start with this Hendrix major chord. This all comes from the caged system. It's another way to look at it. We're gonna hit the open E. And so really, we've got this E major pentatonic scale right here. We've also got this Hendrix major chord, which is just like this E major, but instead of the E note in the bass, we're gonna play a different note of the chord in the bass, and that would be called an inversion. So that note right there is a G sharp. That same G sharp's on the 11th fret of the A string. So what you're doing is you're barring across the 9th fret, including the A string, and then you've got the little pentatonic box there. I'm just holding that down and then a whole step higher. It's all along that D and G string, the A string as well. So you can look at this whole little thing here as E major. And so what I did was I hit the open E, I'm barring that ninth fret, and then I'm gonna hammer up to the 11 with my ring finger, but I'm also gonna be strumming the other strings with it. Like that. So you got. Then I'm playing this little portion of it, the D and G, so. Kind of emphasizing the D, but I hear the E in there, I mean the G string in there as well. Next, we're doing a hammer on pull off on that G string 11th fret, and we're hearing that B string from that bar with it. Hammer on pull off, then 11 on the D. So you put that together. making sure that you pick out that 11th fret on the D. Then, when we, we're gonna go to that B major chord, but we're not gonna play it like that. We're gonna do the Hendrix thing, where this looks like an F shape. And then your thumb is on the bass. So we're gonna slide. And then have that F shape. So we're sliding into that B root there, that seventh fret. So we slide, form the shape. You're gonna hit, while that's ringing out, you're gonna hit that D string. And between my ring finger and thumb, that's they're basically muting out that A string. So, so you go ba, ba. And then as you strum the chord, you're gonna have your pinky on the ninth fret. And as you strum across, you're gonna pull that pinky off 
and you're covering, you know, that F looking shape there, you're covering that seventh fret on the B and high E with that shape and then the thumb. So when you do that pull off, then you pick individually the B, then the G. So let's go back to the top. And those are ringing out. Then, so I'm going da da, and it's just that chord. And you add that pinky to that ninth fret. Then the chord without the pinky, so. And we're just taking that same shape down to that A, so instead of the A bar chord, we're playing that. And you're gonna, you're gonna grab that seventh fret on the G string with your pinky. Then strumming the top three strings, hammer on pull off with your pinky on the seven of the high E. And then the same thing on the B. Open E. End of the progression and a cool double stop major pentatonic lick. And then it goes into the repeat of the chord progression but with some different embellishments. But getting the first one down will make all the other ones much easier because it's all in that same vein. You got the E, Hendrix major zone. Sorry. Okay. Let's do the second one now. Well, here, here's the first one, then we'll go into the second one. I didn't show you this lick yet. So it just looks like this. Uh, could be using his ring finger. Whichever one's easier, but you're sliding 12 to 14, but you're doing it on the B and high E. And the same thing on the nine, then you're just grabbing the single 11th fret G. But then instead of, it's, it's just a little bit different. So instead of the hammer on pull off, it's a hammer on. Ba, ba, ba. Very similar, but just a little different. Then this, and that's going to be now playing with this pinky vibe. So that's like four different times. But, uh, same ham hammers that on again. But you kind of roll up the to the strings. Then a dub B dot, which is gonna be seventh fret B string with your pinky holding that shape. And then that open E again. And then a little stab, which would be 12 up to 14 on the B and high E, like that. So here's that second one again. Hammer, 
then a little stab. Like that. Let's go back to the top. Here's the very beginning. Flick. So when you have an E major in the progression from here on out, you can stab out the basic bar chord with the open E, and then go into that little major pentatonic Hendrix major zone. And anytime you're on that shape, you can you have the whole step high E, whole step B, and then that, uh, you know, all in the same fret, ninth fret on the on the G, B, or high E. And then here. You know, don't be afraid to go back to a regular E major. You also have that to a B, A, E, which he's not doing, he's keeping it right in that same spot. But just pointing it out, soloing major pentatonic the whole time. in the E major pentatonic. So from there, um, you know, have fun, improvise it a bit. Then you just have another section which is just which, you know, with these new Hendrixy things. You know, if you want. So another thing going on, which is really, it's another part. It's really, I think probably the bass player came up with it. And then there's another guitar doubling it. And it's a uh, octave. So it'd be six on the A, eight on the G. And you just move that up a whole uh, half step. And then an A major. And that's it. All right. Thank you. Thank you again. Really appreciate you uh, supporting Marty Music. And uh, you can feel free to leave requests in the comments below. While you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again. Hope to see you real soon.